As storms hammer the U.S. south, a very hazardous tornado tears over the region. On Thursday, a big and highly hazardous tornado blasted over central Alabama, part of a sequence of storms that battered the southeastern United States. So far, no deaths have been recorded, but the massive, whirling weather system demolished homes, fell trees, and trapped at least one person in the wreckage as it moved through the historic city of Selma, a focal point of the civil rights struggle in the 1960s. A tornado probably impacted Selma, said former state senator Hank Sanders to the Associated Press. In truth, it struck our house, but not directly. It blew out the windows in the living room and the bedroom. It's pouring through the kitchen roof. On Thursday, the National Weather Service received 33 tornado reports, including a verified landfall in Kentucky and sightings near Atlanta's Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport, the world's largest aviation terminal for passenger traffic. North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia are still under warnings. Bobby Green, a Selma resident, was trapped in his automobile as debris showered down on its top during the storm. He informed local television station WVTM that he tried to run to a neighboring store, but the wind forced the car door shut. It all occurred so quickly, he claimed. 